Hey folks, Pastor Jordan here bringing you this week's sermon preview from here uh, on a beautiful, chilly, but uh, but beautiful fall afternoon here at the grounds of West Glenville Reformed Church. Uh, I just want to share with you what we're going to be looking at when we gather for worship on Sunday uh, as far as our scripture and uh, what we'll be talking about as we study that scripture together. But first, I wanted to share a couple of announcements with you. First of all, uh, tonight. So if you're watching this video on the day that it is published, which is Thursday, October the 10th, uh, you can come to church still this evening for a free community meal. Uh, we're, we'll be gathering at 5.30. Uh, the meal is going to go until about 7, 7.30 or so. Uh, so come on up. There's plenty of food. Uh, it'll be good. It'll be warm. Uh, and it'll be just a wonderful celebration of fellowship and breaking bread together. A uh, great opportunity to, to just share a meal and not have to worry about cooking tonight. Uh, to be able to come out and be with some, some friends and neighbors. Uh, so if you don't have to eat alone or... Uh, if you know somebody that's in need or someone you want to invite to our church uh, to experience our community and, and the love of God that's present here, then it's a great time to bring them. Uh, Barb, our youth and family minister, will also be doing the Kickstarter program for the younger folks. So bring your kids. There's, this is a great opportunity to, uh, to feed the family without having to uh, worry about too much stuff. Sorry, I've got a thing that popped up on my phone there. I couldn't see the, <laughs> the camera. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity to bring out uh, the family, not have to take care of dishes and cooking and all that. And uh, so bring the kids because there will be uh, stuff for the young folks to do too. Uh, not just not just eat, but uh, also have some fun as well. So that's tonight, uh, starting at 5.30. Uh, and come on out for that. Um, but come anytime between 5.30 and 7, and it'll be a great time. Uh, then on Saturday, uh, Pastor Art is going to be taking a walk on the Zim Smith Trail that starts at 10 a.m. and you can meet over at the Zim Smith Trail entrance on Round Lake Road. That's at 10 a.m. on Saturday and uh, you're going to go for a walk for about an hour and then they're going to uh, at 11 meet up and, and visit Leah's Cakery which is right there. So uh, make sure you uh, you go if you if you go for the walk uh, you earn Leah's Cakery but if you don't feel like walking you can still go with them to Leah's Cakery. So uh, enjoy that on Saturday morning. Uh, then, of course, we'll be celebrating worship on Sunday. And then on Monday, uh, Art is planning on taking a trip, uh, a road trip up to Camp Fowler with some folks. Uh, there's a sign up hall in Poff Hall here, uh, so you can sign up for that if you'd like to participate um, with that. And um, those are some of the things going on. Uh, we also have uh, put it in your book, so we've got a... Um, election day spaghetti supper that will be offered here that's tuesday november the 5th and uh it'll be here in the sanctuary so uh come and get your supper um and uh to go and also there will be uh plenty of opportunities for you to help out or to make donations so check the signups in poff hall for that uh, sp spaghetti supper that's happening on election day and uh, see how you can help out with that, uh, there's also some other stuff going on with the uh, youth and family ministry, so you can check the, uh, the bulletin and the announcements for that. You can find that stuff right on our website, westgrc.org. Uh, click bulletins and hymns, and you'll find the bulletin, the hymns for the week, and, and the announcements that uh, our church secretary, Sharon, puts together. Uh, also on the website, you can find our monthly newsletter. It's called The Tidings, and so just uh, click on that Tidings tab, and that'll take you to our newsletter for the month. All right, this uh, Sunday we are hearing uh, the story of Hannah, who is another uh, person in the Old Testament uh, who has gone a long time without being able to bear a child and then is finally given that gift. And uh, while that's a difficult subject for many who have struggled uh, in that regard and not been able to bring life into the world in, in ways that they have hoped, um, we understand that that's a, that's a difficult and painful uh, challenge that many face in life. And along with that, there are many different ways that we struggle with those things that we want so badly. Um, for some, it is to be able to, to bear a child, to be a, a mother or a father. Um, but for others, it's, it's different things that, that we want and desire and, and, and feel in our hearts as though it's important to us, and yet we cannot grasp it. And so we'll look at some of those painful things this week when we gather for worship. And, and we'll look at this story and, and how the Lord works in these ways. And uh, we'll invite the Lord in to work in our lives uh, 
that perhaps those things that we desire that, that we cannot attain or, or cannot quite get within our grasp, perhaps there are other avenues to experiencing God's goodness and God's grace and God's love in our lives. And so we'll, we'll look at that story today uh, from the book of 1 Samuel, um, or this, this Sunday when we gather for worship. I, uh, I give you my blessings and I look forward to seeing you. Uh, you can join us for worship, but please come. Uh, if there's one thing you do in this faith community, it's come to church. Uh, please, please do so. Uh, come and be with us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. here at the sanctuary. If you can't join us uh, in person, then join us online right here on this YouTube channel. We stream live every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So let friends and family know that are from other places that they can still participate in our church community every week. Uh, we look forward to seeing you when you're in town and be blessed. And I look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.